Hey guys, today we're gonna make pom. This is a favorite Surinamese dish. It is of Creole origin and it's made with chicken or salt beef or even without those two. The pom plant is called, I'm gonna use my cheat sheet, Santosoma sagitti folium. I just know it as pom tire. The pom tire plant is actually edible but what we're using for the pom is the stem part so that's also edible they grate it and that's what we call pom tire so follow these steps it's a lot of work but at the end of the day it's amazing you guys know how it tastes well if you don't you should try it somewhere on the road at a restaurant it's delicious so for the pom you're gonna need fried chicken I seasoned my chicken with soy sauce salt brown sugar some black pepper nutmeg and some garlic it tastes better if you leave it rest for about a couple of hours or even overnight what you're gonna do now is fry it and set aside to cool what you're gonna need is a foil pan I used a small one I would say letter size looks like an A4 the following ingredients are I used one pack of pom tire you can buy it at any toko or even like Le Grand Marche that's the only shop I know in Martin that sells it for now. Yeah, this is Dumber foam tire. I think any foam tire is good. This is how it looks. Salt to liking. You will also need some whiskey. I use Black Label. This is to kind of break the itchiness of the foam tire. And then the main spices are, this is one tablespoon of pekalili, one celery stick chopped, four tablespoons of brown sugar this is three garlic cloves chopped one four teaspoon of black pepper and one tablespoon of maggie powder also one cup of orange juice with pulp in it so what we're gonna do now is mix the ingredients together with the pump tire you're gonna add a half a tablespoon of whiskey your orange juice and all your spices and then you're gonna mix this add your two teaspoons of salt and mix it I hope in the future you guys can smell and taste my food before you actually make it for the sauce and the chicken that you're gonna mix with the pom tire, you're gonna need the 12 or 15 pieces of chicken, four garlic cloves chopped, two maggi blocks, one celery stick, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of ketchup, one small onion chopped, two small tomatoes chopped, salt to liking, one teaspoon of black pepper, and half a stick of butter. I use Rome butter, blue band. It's delicious. So you're gonna add the half a stick of butter and then you're gonna leave the butter melt. Add your onions and your garlic. Leave this fry lightly. You're gonna add the rest of your ingredients. So the tomato and the celery stick and the maggi block. Stir this. Your black pepper and your brown sugar, ketchup for the color. What I want to tell you guys is that some people make their pom sweeter than usual, and I really, really love when my pom is sweet. Well, that's what I'm used to, and so if it's not sweet to me, it's bland. So, this is the sweet pom. You're going to add water because this is needed for the sauce that you're going to mix the pom tire with. I used about two and a half cups of water. And then you're going to stir this. Taste your mixture and based on how it tastes, you're going to add salt to your liking. Stir this. Add your fried chicken. And then you're going to close the lid and leave this cook for about five minutes on medium heat. So after you brought to a boil, after 5 minutes you're going to add 1 cup of the sauce into your pom tire mix. You could add a little bit more so the pom tire is drowned in it. 
mix this. You're gonna butter your pan. Then you're gonna layer up the foil pan. So you're gonna put about two cups of foam and flatten this or even it out. Then you're gonna add four times three pieces of chicken. So after you arrange your chicken, you're going to put some sauce on the top. So I would say one and a half cups of sauce. And then you're going to add the rest of your pom tire. You also even this out. And then you're gonna add about two cups of sauce to the top of the dish. And last but not least, you're gonna add some slices of butter to the top so you can have that nice, creamy, delicious, burnt, I'm joking, delicious flavor. You're then gonna put this in the oven and you're gonna bake for an hour and a half at the highest degrees on the oven so some says broil and some says max <laughs> just use max or broil isn't it beautiful <laughs> after an hour and a half in the oven you take it out make sure to puncture it with like satay stick or a fork that it's not so watery there you have it boom Hey guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching my videos. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch another one of my videos. Ciao!